more spider people are there? Save it for Comic-Con. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most powerful versions of Spider-Man. For this list, we're looking at the strongest Spideys across both film and comics. Which version of Spider-Man is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, Earth 616. This is the Parker that started it all. Back in the 60s, Peter Parker was introduced in Amazing Fantasy number 15. This is where we first saw his now standard powers. Spider sense, super strength, agility, speed, and wall crawling along with others. Unfortunately, that was the last issue of the series, but luckily for us, Spider-Man returned in his own series proper shortly after. Though many Spideys came after him, this version of Spider-Man is the one all the live-action movies have been based on. As the baseline, he is definitely not the strongest hero, but his lovable personality and comedic timing made the original Spider-Man a beloved character. What are you? You a cop? Really? You seriously think I'm a cop? Cop in a skin-tight red and blue suit? Number 9. Mary Jane Watson, aka Spinnerette, Earth 18119. In this alternate reality, MJ Watson and Peter Parker have a daughter, Annie, who has spider powers. They become a family crime-fighting trio when MJ receives a suit giving her powers as well. The suit gives her all of Peter's powers, but also drains him of them. Eventually, she's given another suit by Liz Allen that ends up being the symbiote Venom. This new suit allowed her to continue crime-fighting with her husband, minus the whole power-draining thing. She might even be a bit stronger than Peter, as MJ also has the abilities of Venom. Number 8. Dr. Otto Octavius, aka Superior Spider-Man, Earth 616. For those who aren't familiar with the comics, bear with us for a second. When Doc Ock was on his deathbed, he engineered a plan where he swapped his consciousness with that of Peter Parker, in a Freaky Friday type switcheroo. Still with us? Combine Peter's spider powers with the arrogant genius of Otto Octavius, and you get one superior Spider-Man. With a new outlook on life, Otto vowed to be a better Spider-Man than Peter ever could. He came up with new ways of reducing crime in New York by creating an army of spider bots to patrol the city. He also wasn't shy in unleashing the full force of his powers when he shattered Scorpion's jaw. Suffice it to say, he wasn't the friendliest neighborhood Spider-Man. Number 7. Penny Parker, aka SPDR, Earth TRN704. Appearing in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, she definitely has one of the more unique takes on the Spider-Man mythos. Penny, much like her alternate Earth counterparts, was bitten by a radioactive spider. I'm from New York in the year 3145. I have a psychic link with a spider who lives inside my father's robot. And we're best friends. <laughs> forever. This bite created a psychic link with a spider that lives inside her father's robot, SPDR. This link allows Penny to take control of SPDR as its pilot. Working with SPDR, Penny can definitely hold her own against Kingpin's henchmen alongside Miles Morales and co. at May's house. Unfortunately, SPDR is severely damaged at the Collider site by Scorpion. However, we do see Penny rebuilding SPDR, so hopefully the pair will be back in action soon enough. Number 6. Gwen Stacy, aka Spider-Woman, Earth 65 Before Mary Jane Watson, the girl in Peter Parker's life was Gwen Stacy. In the main universe, she was his first epic love. They were college sweethearts, but when Norman Osborn figured out Spider-Man's identity, he kidnapped Gwen. In the ensuing battle between Spidey and the Green Goblin, Gwen tragically died. Things are switched on Earth-65, where Gwendolyn Stacy is the one bitten by a radioactive spider. My name is Gwen Stacy. I was bitten by a radioactive spider. And for the last two years, I've been the one and only Spider-Woman. Since their stories parallel, she has all the same powers as Spider-Man. But Spider-Woman has something Peter doesn't, a ticket to the multiverse. The device was created with the help of Gwen Stacy of Earth-3109, and it gives Earth-65 Gwen the ability to travel between dimensions. Not many Spideys can beat that. Number 5. Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, Earth-96283. 
Maguire's portrayal of Spider-Man has been a fan favorite since he first hit big screens. The character follows the origins of his Earth-616 counterpart pretty closely. He gets the spider sense, the superhuman strength, speed, and wall-crawling ability. But this universe's Peter doesn't need mechanical web shooters. His body creates the webs and shoots them straight out of his wrists. This change came from director Sam Raimi, who didn't think it was believable for a high schooler to create something as complex as web shooters. We guess it worked out because Spider-Man 2 would have been a completely different movie if Peter ran out of webbing halfway through trying to stop that runaway subway car. Number 4. Miguel O'Hara, aka Spider-Man 2099, Earth 928. From the future, Miguel O'Hara's DNA was altered by a genetic procedure gone wrong, rather than a radioactive spider bite. While the cause was different compared to other versions of Spider-Man, he still developed most of the same superhuman abilities. There are a few things that set him apart, though. Clearly, he doesn't skip leg day, as he can jump as high as 30 feet in the air. O'Hara also has retractable talons and fangs, can see very long distances, and like Tobey Maguire's version, produces organic webbing. In a bit of a sci-fi twist, he's also telepathic and can communicate that way with others. All in all, this is one Spider-Man we wouldn't want to face off against, now or in the future. Okay, so we're just gonna roll the dice on this? So what do you say, pal? Where do you want to go first? Let's start at the beginning one last time. Number 3. Tom Holland's Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, Earth-616 and Earth-199999. Seeing Spider-Man in the MCU was long awaited by fans, and boy did it pay off. Underoos! Nice job, kid. Since the origin story had been told so many times, the MCU creative skipped right over that and jumped to Peter working with Tony Stark. In Spider-Man Far From Home, Mysterio reveals that they are on Earth-616, so the powers he got from the spider are on par with every other Spider-Man. Uh, Mr. Beck is from Earth, just not yours. There are multiple realities, Peter. This is Earth, Dimension 616. I'm from Earth 833. He's able to rather easily handle both the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and he also casually catches Bucky's punch. You have a metal arm? That is awesome, dude! The suits Tony gives Peter do have a few extras, including AI, weapons, and an instant kill mode, so it's safe to say he would have the upper hand against most other Spideys. Number 2. Miles Morales, Earth TRN 700. On every Earth that Miles Morales is a Spider-Man, he proves himself to be one of the strongest heroes in that reality. Like other versions of the webhead, Morales has an adjustment period after getting bitten. They're suggesting is that we will that we will But unlike most others, he can turn invisible and has an advanced Spidey sense. We meet this version of Miles in Into the Spider-Verse, and initially his fears hold him back from realizing his true potential of becoming a hero. When will I know I'm ready? You won't. It's a leap of faith. That's all it is, Miles. A leap of faith. Once he quite literally takes a leap of faith, we see just how powerful he is. He easily handles Kingpin's minions through the skillful use of his abilities. It wasn't easy, but he was even able to take out Kingpin with his electrifying Venom Strike. Hey. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Ben Riley, aka Scarlet Spider, Earth 616 the genetic clone of Peter Parker who wanted to determine his own identity. Peter Parker, aka Six-Armed Spider-Man, Earth 92100. The six arms were not wanted, but they definitely help in a fight. Peter Parker, aka The Spider, Earth 15. He's just like regular Peter if he was a homicidal superhuman with a symbiote attachment. Peter Parker, aka Ghost Spider, Earth 11638. If regular Spider-Man and Ghost Rider had a baby, it would probably be Ghost Spider. Spider-Hulk, Earth-616. 
We hope his webs are strong enough to hold the hero. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Peter Parker, aka Cosmic Spider-Man, Earth-13 To call this hero a Spider-Man is a bit of an understatement. Peter Parker of Earth-13 was bestowed the powers of the Enigma Force, which was created by Celestials. Like his other universe counterparts, he has superhuman spidey powers like speed, strength, and durability. He also has super healing, sight, and hearing. He can sense things at a subatomic level, can force people to tell the truth, and can manipulate energy. The downside is that his powers will be lost if he travels to another universe. He is nearly unbeatable in his world, earning him the second name of Captain Universe. We say nearly because he was killed by Solus in the Spider-Verse comic event. Hey, even the most powerful can't win them all. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.